In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install an image viewer called ViewNor. Now, I'm using Ubuntu Mate, but you can use Ubuntu or any of the other derivatives and it will work. Now, there's version 1.7, which is the newest version, and there's 1.6, which is the oldest version. If you are a beginner or newbie to Linux, uh, you might want to install 1.6 because you open up the terminal, you hit sudo apt get update, you copy, and I have the instructions on my webpage. And then once you update your repositories, you do sudo apt install ViewNor. Or you can click on the packages.org, locate your Linux that you have installed, download the installation package, and double click that file and install it on your system. Now, the only difference that I found between ViewNor 1.6 and ViewNor 1.7 is in ViewNor 1.6, when you go to image and save your image as your wallpaper, it will not install or it will not save it as your default wallpaper. However, that's not a problem. If you go to my simple how to's on my website, it shows you how to change your wallpaper uh, on your system. So you really don't need an image viewer to change that. So if that's a concern of yours, you can still install this the easy way and then change your wallpaper by, uh, by other methods on your computer. However, if you do like all the features to work within your image viewer, then I suggest installing it this way. Now, when you're installing it this method, you're going to install it by the source code. Now, if you read all of this up here, it tells you that you need some prerequisites in order to install it. So to start with, let's update our PPA. So put type the command sudo app get update with dash y. Put in your password and press the enter key. And while that's updating our repositories, I am going to copy the next set of commands on my clipboard. So when I do that, uh, I paste it into my terminal. It'll be ready to install the CMake because we're going to be using CMake here. You need to make sure you have it. We're going to be installing Messen because if you get down here, you're going to see that Messen command is going to need to be installed. The LIBGER, if you notice some of these features down here, uses that as well. So we're going to use all of these commands here uh, by installing all of these in one time. So I press the enter return key. Now, if you notice here, all of these are already at their newest version. If for some reason you got an older version of each of these files, it will update them for you since we updated our repositories. And if you don't have them installed, it will go across the internet, get them, and install them for you. Next thing you're going to do is to go to sudo app get install gtk2 on your system. So paste that into your terminal, press the enter or return key. If you notice all of these, there's a lot of files that tells you that all of mine are at the newest version. Now the next thing you want to do is we're going to install, make sure we got the build essential installed and the LIB GTK2 development installed. So right click, copy from the internet or from my web page and then paste it into the terminal and press the enter or return key. And as you can see, I already have them installed. If I didn't, it would go out and get them across the internet and install them. Now here are two programs that need it or uh, I guess you can call them programs that are needed in order to install the uh, ViewNor 1.7 and that's EXIV2 and GEXIV2. Now we're going to copy CD which is the change our directory into the downloads folder. I'm going to change my directory into the downloads folder. I press the enter return. Now I'm going to clear my terminal so it won't look so cluttered. You don't have to do that. It will still work. But now you can see my prompt is at the top instead of at the bottom. Now I'm going to download this particular file into my downloads folder. So wget just simply means to go at that location, get that file and download it. And as you can see, it's starting to download that file and place it in my downloads folder. Once it, it is downloaded, I can then use the tar to uncompress that file into my downloads folder. So now that, that it's finished, I can now go and say paste this command, which is going to uncompress that zipped up file that's in my downloads folder. So I press the enter return key and it's that quick. It already uncompressed it. So I can now change my directory into the folder that it created when it uncompressed. So I can say change directory into that name. As you can see here, if you exclude the tar dot GZ, that is the name of the folder that it created. And a bunch of files were within that folder. Now we're going to use the CMake command that we installed up earlier. And we're going to say CMake space dot. Press the enter key. 
and now we're going to go make we're going to use the make command to prepare our files that we've just uncompressed see we're getting them ready to be installed now we're going to say sudo make install so if I take these commands here go sudo make install it will install the exiv2 and it's doing it real quickly and it's finished now we can check the version that we have installed on our system so if I copy this paste this into my terminal press the enter return key I have the exiv2 version 0.27.2 on my system so I know that that installed because it shows you the version so now we're getting ready to install the GEX IV2 uh, section so we don't want to stay in our current directory of the EXVI or V2 and all the rest that you see here so we're going to change our directory back to the downloads folder now I'm going to clear this out again you don't have to run clear but I am to put my prompt at the top we're going to download this file that we're going to install. So I copy this, I paste this into my terminal, I press the enter or return key, and as you can see it's downloading the file. It was only 361 kilobytes, so it didn't take but 0.7 seconds to download. I now take my TAR and uncompress that file that we just downloaded. So I paste that into my terminal, press the enter or return key, and it's that quickly. So now I'm ready to change the directory into that new folder. Uh, that's the folder name there without the tar.xz that's it compressed up press the enter return key and I'm now into that folder as you can see it's part of the prompt now I'm gonna go messin build we installed messin up here in these list of commands right here the messin file so that's why it's needed in order to install this program so now I go back into my DOS prompt or terminal not DOS prompt press the enter or return key and I've already it says directory already configured since I've already installed this I went through and kind of uh, removed it but there's some it's already been the mess and build is completed so uh, even though I deleted that folder I guess a subfolder didn't get uh, deleted but it's already configured if yours is not already configured it will go through and reconfigure or I can actually go through and say reconfigure but now I'm gonna build this file files in the directory so I can say CD build which is to change my directory to the build folder and now I can actually install the GEX IV2 on my system so I paste this in here press the enter return key and it's finished it went through and installed those now again I've already previously had installed it so it didn't take mine long it may take yours a little longer if you had installed this uh, for the first time now I want to go back to my uh, downloads folder because I don't want to install the program into that file here so go CD uh, the tilde sign forward slash downloads and I'm gonna clear this out to put the prompt at the top of the terminal instead of the bottom I'm gonna download the actual program itself which is wget and this link here paste it into my terminal and it will download as soon as I press the enter return key and it's finished it's already saved I am going to uncompress the file so I use the tar command to uncompress it press the enter or return key it uncompressed it and it created the folder called viewnor dash uh, viewnor dash 1.7 so I can change my directory to that command or to that folder name and that's the folder name now I'm going to uh, use the messin command to get ready to uh, uh, fix my files so that I can install them now, I've already went through and configured them so it tells me the directory is already configured so I'm going to change my directory to a hidden folder called the build directory and the point dot forward slash allows me to do that I press the enter return key now I am in that folder the build dir folder I'm going to run the ninja command which was we already installed that by the commands above so I place in the ninja press the enter return key it says uh, ninja do, uh, do not work it's no work to do it's not that it don't do any work I've already installed this and if you've never installed it for the uh, once you install it for the first time you will have ninja will have some work to do it's not really configuring it because it's already been configured but we can go and install it now since ninja has already configured it we can copy and paste this into our terminal press the enter return key and it's going through and installing it now once it's finished installing 
if for some reason you can't see Bunor in your menu, if I look go through here and I look and it's not in the menu, you can reboot your system to place it in the menu, or you can type the word Vunor in your terminal, press the enter or return key, and it will bring up Vunor uh, on your screen. Now, by default, you may not have the menu above uh, selected. So let me close this out and I'll show you in just a moment. Let me close the terminal, close this out here, and I'm going to go into my wallpapers folder. So I'm going to go to pictures. I go into my wallpapers. Now, if you see here, I've got a current wallpaper of a snow scene on the top of a mountain with some clouds. Let's say that I want to, to choose a different one. But before I do, let me show you how to use this program. Let's say I double click here. I can use the right arrows up here to advance forward, and I, or I can go back. I can zoom in. I can zoom out. And as you can see here, it says show the image as a normal size. Uh, so if I click here, it goes normal size, or I can get it to fit the width. I can rotate, or I can rotate right. And up here when I go to my image, I can say set as a wallpaper. Now, once you're in your program, if I go to about, as you can see here, it's ViewNor 1.7. Uh, for the first time, you may not have the menu up here. If not, there'll be a little square here. You can go up and click that square, go to view, show menu, and the menu will appear. Now, if this is the first time you've used ViewNor, once you issued that into your terminal and you close it out, you should have a ViewNor in your graphics folder. And since it says starts with a V, it is now down here at the bottom, which is ViewNor. Now, if I click onto that, it's now back up on my screen, but without an image. So now I'm going to show you how you can change your wallpaper with ViewNor 1.7. Let's say since I've got that mountain cover on there, if I wanted to change it with a snow cover, as you can see here, there's the mountain here. And if I want to change it to snow, I go to my image, set as wallpaper. Now when I minimize this, as you can see here, the snow scene is now my wallpaper. So in ViewNor 1.6, that feature was no longer working. It was like it got disabled after some few updates with the operating system, something happened where it changed some of the commands within set wallpaper. Everything else worked. So if you're using 1.6 and that's the only feature that won't work is set as wallpaper, you don't really need that command because your operating system will allow you to, to set a wallpaper. However, installing version 1.7 does fix that problem that occurred in 1.6. So this taught you how to install a program by using source code. We downloaded the actual code as compressed files and these were the the programs that were needed in order to install the ViewNor 1.7 but this is the actual source code here. We uncompress the source code and then we use these commands here to install the program. So hopefully this has helped you understand how to install a program using source code and also how to install a image viewer called ViewNor. Hopefully this has been beneficial to you and have a great day.